Hey Creative Minds, it's a brand new week and in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a perfect YouTube banner with just your mobile phone, your Google browser and Canva. But before we dive into the tutorial, I think it's best for us to know and understand what a YouTube banner is and that knowledge will guide us through the process of creating a perfect banner. So if you're a new YouTuber or someone who is still trying to grow his or her YouTube channel, just like I am, before you create a YouTube banner, the first question you should ask yourself is, what do you want people to see when they first visit your channel? Do you want them to just come and visit and go? Or do you want them to come, browse through your videos, watch the ones that best suit them, and hit that almighty subscribe button and join your YouTube family? And that brings us to the question of the day. What is a YouTube banner? A YouTube banner, otherwise known as a YouTube art, is a visually appealing YouTube banner that clearly represents your brand and the kind of content you create with emphasis on the brand and create. It needs to have your name boldly written out and a call to action. Let's say for instance, you want to create a YouTube thumbnail. Your main goal would be to create a YouTube thumbnail that is so visually appealing that whosoever sees it would want to click on it and watch your video. I have a well detailed tutorial on how to create a YouTube thumbnail and I will leave the video right here. So in the same manner where you're creating a YouTube banner, your main goal or focus should be to turn your visitors into subscribers. And that can only be possible when your banner clearly represents the kind of content that you put out. So when people who are interested in the kind of content that you create do visit your channel, which they definitely will, the moment they see your banner, they would be able to tell that this is the kind of content that they are interested in. And automatically, you will turn a visitor into a subscriber. Open your Google app or your Google browser. In the search bar, simply type in YouTube art. Then click on search. Once it opens, go to images. Here you see lots of images, but the one we really need is this one right here. So I'm going to click on it now and press and hold on it. And these options would appear. Click on save to photos and that's it. So let's go to Canva. Open your Canva app like so. Once it opens, under here you see the plus icon. Click on it. And then in the search bar, simply type in YouTube banner. Select the first one. The moment this page appears, you see this template. Some are free to use and some you would have to pay for. But trust me, you have to avoid this at all costs because these ones are not created with the guidelines. So go to camera roll. I'm simply going to import the image that I just downloaded now from Google. Then click on add to page. Once you get here, click on these three dots here beside the delete icon. Down here, you see options and you're just going to select set image as. So now that we've done this, I'm just going to go back and select any random element. So I'm going to select this element, come back here, go to color. I'm going to select white because I believe white is in between both male and female. Anybody can use white. So I'm going to go with the color white. You can go with whichever color you prefer really. So now that we've done this, I'm going to tap on the image again, down here, you see transparency it's already at 100 so i'm just going to take it to zero and now our main image has appeared again so here i'm going to show you the guideline you see this darker shade here this is where people with mobile phones are going to see this one right here this is where people with tablets are going to see and this one is where people with laptops are going to see now the full canvas is where people with TV screens are going to see. So what I'm going to do now is to zoom this out just to increase our workspace. So now that we have this here, it's perfect. Now let's go back to elements. I'm going to select this one because this one is easier to manage. It gives off a beautiful shape when you minimize it. So here I'm going to select any color. I'm going to select this one. Once I'm done with this, I'm going to bring this here. And because in this channel, we work smart, not hard. Instead of going through the process of selecting an element and changing the color, 
I'm just going to tap on this plus icon here beside the list button and multiply this. Let's select a name. So I'm just going to go with King James. I'm going to change the color to blue because our background is white. Like this video, hit the subscribe button and tap on the bell icon beside it to turn on all the notifications for this channel so that you will never miss a tutorial whenever I post a brand new video. And to you, my fellow comment reader, you see that comment that you're looking for? It's your own one. So kindly pen it down. Thank you. So I'm going to go to text and select add a little bit of body to text. So for the purpose of this tutorial, let's say King James is a financial guy. And FYI, this is the highest paid niche on YouTube. What I'm going to do now is to resize this a little. Okay. Make sure they are equal. Whatever you do, make sure they are equal. So now that I have this, I'm going to tap on this finance here and select formats. Bold. B stands for bold. So I'm going to repeat the process again. Tap on any of them and increase the font size. So below here you see font size in between textiles and color. Font size. I'm just going to leave this at um, 60. I think 60 is enough. Now that I've increased the size of the text, as you can see, the online hustle is way bigger than business and finance. So I'm just going to resize these elements now. I'm going to place online hustle here. Bring it back a little. Perfect. I'm going to place finance here and increase the font size. I'm going to select another element. But this time around, I'm going to go to color and select red. Now we're going to create our call to action. Bring King James down a little bit. Okay, now that we have this, go to text and type in subscribe. Okay, this is perfect. Tap on elements. This time around, we're going to search for border. So I'm going to go under graphics. Okay, I like this one. Click on any of these dots and resize it. Okay, perfect. It's looking good. Now I'm going to click on that plus icon again beside the delete button and create more of this element. So for this one here, I'm just going to tap on this. Come down here, click on flip. If you would like to use one particular element to design your banners, flip it horizontally or vertically until it fits the particular angle where you want to place it. People who are going to view this on their TV screens and tablets are going to see this. It simply means that people who are going to be viewing this on their tablets basically see nothing except for the ones that are visible to people with mobile phones. So I'm just going to go back to elements, but this time around, I'm going to search for flower border. So once again, I'm going to go under graphics. I like this one, so I'm going to select it. I'm going to resize this now. And then bring it down here just to measure it. Now I'm just going to duplicate this. I'm using this flower border to design the edges so that people who are going to be viewing this with their tablets are going to have something nice to look at. Okay, 
tap on the image and come down here go back to transparency increase it to 100 and that's it visually appealing check call to action check name tag check what the channel does check so when you're done just tap on this arrow facing downwards and download your youtube banner and upload it to your youtube page thank you for watching this video to the end and until i come your way again the pleasure is mine now and always subscribe <laughs>